This video is about the opposition procedure at the European Patent Office. Hi, I am Rolf Klesen, partner with Freischirm and Partner, and this video is about the opposition procedure before the European Patent Office. We in our firm have attacked and defended many European patents before the European Patent Office. And in this video, I will tell you how this procedure works. And also, I have looked at over 17,000 um, opposition proceedings cases in the public database of the European Patent Office and extracted relevant information about these opposition proceedings and have some interesting findings that I present in this video. An opposition against a European patent is the least expensive way by far to remove a granted patent from the registry. The alternative would be to, because the European patent, uh, once granted, will uh, basically become many national patents in all different kinds of countries. Uh, you would have to remove these patents after the opposition period had expired by uh, nullity actions in each and every country. So if you miss the opposition deadline, you would have to file a nullity action in, let's say, Germany, France, Great Britain, Italy, and so on. And that's really expensive and takes a long time. And in contrast, the, an opposition procedure will typically cost you around, let's say, 10 to 20,000 euros, depending on how elaborate and difficult the opposition procedures are. And it will take about maybe one and a half years to three years, depending on how many opponents there are and how complex the technical issue is. When filing the opposition, the patent that is opposed and the opponent have to be clearly identified. And these are the possible grounds for an opposition. The most important ground, in my personal opinion, is unallowable amendments. Many European patents are revoked because they have been amended in a way that were not allowed. The second most important ground for revocation, in my opinion, is inventive step then there is a lack of novelty, then there is lack of disclosure, that means when the skilled person cannot really work the invention based on the information given in the patent, then a very rare ground is lack of industrial applicability, that ground is typically relevant for biotech inventions, and then of course there are exceptions from patentability. After the opposition has been filed, the patentee usually gets four months to respond to the opposition, and after that at some point the opposition division will make up their mind and they will develop a preliminary opinion. They will uh, send a summons to oral proceedings, so they will schedule oral proceedings. And with sending out the date for oral proceedings, they will give the parties a preliminary opinion about the opposition. And typically the parties get a time limit uh, that is uh, one month before the oral proceedings, sometimes in complex cases two months before the oral proceedings, to file arguments in written. And then during the oral proceedings, the patent is either revoked or maintained in amended form, or the opposition is rejected. And sometimes in rare cases, the opposition is inadmissible, but typically that's decided long before that, so in the beginning of the whole opposition procedure. As mentioned in the beginning, I have downloaded details of more than 17,000 opposition procedures such as the number of claims, the length of the claims, the number of words per claim, the number of words in the description, the length of the description, the country of the representative, the country of the applicant, the identity of the applicant, the length of the granting procedure, the number of inventors, the number of applicants, over 100 factors. And I have looked at uh, if these factors um, influence the outcome. So I have looked at, for example, the priority country. If uh, the patent is revoked, uh, more likely if the country of the original first application, let's say, was in a certain country, as compared to another country. And for example, if the priority country is Japan, 
then 32% of all um, attacked patents in oppositions are revoked as compared to the US, so where the priority uh, document is a US document, 40% of all uh, attacked patents are revoked. If the size of the patent family is up to 10, then about 22% of all um, attacked patents are maintained, so the opposition is rejected. If the patent family is larger than 20, so more than 20 members in the patent family, then the patent is um, maintained, so the opposition rejected in only 14% of all cases. If there are more than 20 claims, the opposition is rejected in only 17% of all cases, so a lot of claims obviously do not help. I hope I could explain something to you about the opposition procedure before the European Patent Office. If you are new to my channel and you want to be updated about patents, trademarks and designs, please subscribe to my channel. If you found this video helpful, please hit like. If you have comments and questions, I am answering these under the video. And most importantly, protect your intellectual property and go make it count.